Welcome to German history with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in today's video, I'm speaking about Lothar von Arnaud de la Prairie. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button and drop me a comment below. Lothar von Arnaud de la Prairie was born on March 18th, 1886 in Posen, which is now part of Western Poland. At the age of 17, Lothar von Honor de la Prairie joined the Kaiserliche Marine, the German Imperial Navy, as a sea cadet. In his training years, he sailed to West India and graduated classes for torpedo and gunnery weapons. Upon completion of his training, he was promoted to the rank of Leutnant zur See in the year 1906. In the following years, prior to the First World War, Lothar von Honor de la Prairie served on both ships of the line like the Schlesian, Schleswig-Holstein and the Kurfürst Friedrich Wilhelm and the second torpedo boat division. When the First World War broke out, he served as adjutant to the Chief of Admiral's staff under Admiral Hugo von Pohl. At the beginning of the First World War, he transferred to the Marine Luftschiff Abteilung. Naval aviators, where he was promoted to the rank of Kapitän Leutnant in December of the first year of the First World War. In April 1915, Lothar von Arnaud de la Prairie transferred to the submarine service. After seven months of training, he took over command of the submarine SM U-35 in November 1915. In command of this submarine, he patrolled in the Middle Sea until March 1918. His sixth patrol he went on from July until August 1916, was the most successful in the First World War. Lothar von Arnaud de la Prairie was able to sink 54 merchant ships, totaling just over 90,000 gross registered tons. For this achievement, he was awarded the Pour le Merite. This was only the third time a submarine commander was awarded the Pour le Merite. In May of the year 1918, he put SMU-139 into service. This submarine was one of the biggest submarines the German Navy has ever put into service. It was even bigger than the Class 10 submarines used in the Second World War by the Kriegsmarine. SMU-139 was named Kapitänleutnant Schwieger after the, in the previous year, fallen submarine commander. With this submarine, Lothar von Arnaud de la Prairie went on another patrol and sank five more vessels, totaling over 7,000 gross registered tons. At the end of the First World War, Lothar von Arnaud de la Prairie had sunk over 193 merchant ships, totaling over 450,000 gross registered tons, which would make him the most successful submarine commander of all times in the history of naval warfare. He remained in the Navy after the First World War had ended. By the year 1922, he was promoted to the rank of Corvettenkapitän, and he took over command of the second department of the Schiffsstammdivision in the Baltic Sea. After postings as navigational officer on board of the ships of the line Hanover and Elsass, as well as Admiral Staff Officer in the North Sea Naval Station. He took command of the light cruiser Emden in the year 1928 and held it for about two years. On September 30th, 1931, ranked as a Kapitän zur See, he went into early retirement and spent the next six years teaching at the Turkish Naval Academy. With the beginning of the Second World War, Lothar von Arnaud de la Prairie was reactivated and served as naval commandant in the city of Danzig, in Belgium and the Netherlands, as well as in Western France. Lothar von Arnaud de la Prairie died on February 24th, in 1941, when his plane crashed near Le Bourget. The Konteradmiral died on the way to take over command of the Navy Group South at the age of 54. And he is now buried at the Invalidenfriedhof in Berlin. Thank you so much for watching.